Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host, and on today's How To, we're going to look at the recipe management tool on the Novatool Aero Splice Press, Flexco's self contained, air cooled, portable, endless splicing tool. And here to help me out, Mark Green. He is with Flexco. Welcome back, Mark. Good to be back, Tom. Great to have you here. Uh, we did some splicing on this a little bit earlier, but you know what? We're talking about the recipe management tool now on the AeroPress because it is capable of storing recipes for future use. And you don't have to memorize recipes. You know, you don't have to keep track of notebooks, different operators, regardless of location. And you can accomplish the same quality splicing results every time. All right, we're going to dive in. But before we do, I want to mention we should all wear the proper PPE for our jobs. Mark is ready to go. He's going to be our demonstrator. I'm going to talk every Everybody through it so we're good to go remember whatever the job calls for safety is always priority number one are you ready I'm ready you ready okay. to walk me through yep you're okay. there I'm over here okay you've just finished a splice and you found that the recipe you use delivers the perfect results so mark we're gonna save it right yep okay we save it and store it on the press now first you're gonna be scrolling down the display list with a selector knob and then you're gonna select store recipe by depressing the selector knob. Now from there, you can enter the recipe name using up to 15 alphanumeric characters. Uh, what are we gonna name our recipe for today, Mark? We're gonna name it PVC1. PVC1, okay, I like that. You depress the selector knob and select SEL. That becomes edit. For today's splice, as he said, he selected PVC1. I like that. Now you have some other ones in there as well, just to display because you can go up to 15, can't you? 15 alphanumeric I love that. characters. You yeah. rotate the selector knob to the letters and numbers that you need. You depress the button for each. Now, after each selection, you rotate the knob to the right to complete the name process. When you're done, you scroll to the right until the arrows move to the bottom line of the display. When the arrow points to done, you can depress the selector knob. When Save Custom Recipe appears, he's going to select either Cancel or Confirm. And we're done. I like that. We're good to go. So that recipe is there for whenever we need it. Now, you can also import recipes onto the press using the recipe management tool and a USB flash drive as well. Now, this is done by downloading the AeroPress recipe management tool from the Flexco website onto the drive itself. And the instructions for inputting and modifying recipes are located in the tool. Once those recipes are loaded from the website, you simply power up the AeroPress and insert the USB flash drive into the USB port, and that's located in the top of the press. Now, when the display indicates that the device has been detected, as you're going to see, the screen is going to change here, then you want to scroll to Import Recipes and depress the selector knob to choose Confirm. Bam, there he goes. Now the display should now read processing. It did already. Already, it's so quick, I love it. Followed by import complete. Done. Boy, you guys are just too good. Select return to take you back to the options screen and then back to home. At this point, the USB can be removed and you are good to go. Now, if we want to export a custom recipe from the press for use on other presses, you insert the USB and choose export recipes. Can we export one? We certainly can. I like that. Which one actually are you going to export? Do you know yet? I'm going to export everything that's on the press. So we could pick from whatever we want. Actually, we can only pick the whole file that's on the press. Export recipes and then you choose back, which takes you back home. You can then remove the USB flash drive once that done, which can be inserted into a computer for storage in the recipe management tool. So we'll have those recipes forever, right? Right. I like that. So how are we doing? You're processing that right now. Now, when it comes time to splice a belt, you simply scroll down to load the recipe on your display, and then you would depress the selector knob. You'd scroll down to select group, Custom recipes are stored directly on the press, and they're in the zero custom group and can be located by scrolling through the names. Now, groups 1 through 10 contain recipes that are imported using the recipe management tool. Now, Mark, once you've selected the recipe, your press is ready to be operated, right? That's correct. You are good to go. And this is a really cool tool because you can get up to a 1,000 recipes? Up to 1,000. Wow, 1,000 recipes that could be shared between tools across locations. And as you can see, it was really easy to use. We're done, aren't we? Right. Could I show you what we loaded? I'd love to see. Okay. It kind of falls in line with your show a little bit. Look at that. Tom's Toolbox 1, 2, 3, and 4. I like that. And within those groups, we have 
an actual recipe. This is for PVC mini rooftop. All I have to do is depress the button, the recipe is stored, I hit the green button, and we're ready to go. Uh, that's pretty easy, Mark. Nice job. Thanks. And they said bringing you in was going to be a recipe for disaster. I don't think so. Mark Green with Flexco, thanks again for your help. He did a great job. Hey, any questions, call your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. This was a great demonstration. You saw he had his PPE on. I didn't need it, but uh, I had it right back here just in case. Priority number one, always be safe. Number two, head to mihowto.com and check out more videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching.